Well, hey, everybody, and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're the first time here, it's great to have you. And on this channel, we talk everything health optimization or functional medicine, cellular health, biohacking, longevity, and anti-aging, all those things to keep us well and fit for a long period of time. So just a quick disclaimer, uh, I'm not a medical doctor. Uh, I'm an ex-professional athlete with a very keen interest in longevity and anti-aging and been studying this field for uh, almost a decade now, but not a medical practitioner. So uh, make sure you don't take this as medical advice. This is definitely not that. And make sure you see your medical provider before starting any sort of supplements. But today I wanted to dive, dive into the captivating world of Glynax supplementation. Now, Glynax stands for glycine and n acetylcysteine. You may have heard of those two separately. Uh, so, so Glynac is short for glycine NAC, and that's a powerful combination of glycine and n acetylcysteine. And it's showcasing profound potential for optimizing your cellular health. So I want to dive into the scientific intricacies behind Glynac. Uh, why you should consider maybe taking this supplement, maybe where you can get it, and its multifaceted benefits, and back it up with a little bit of research, which I will link to in the show notes below or in the comments below. Um, so glycine. Glycine is an essential amino acid, and this, along with n acetylcysteine is a potent antioxidant, and this is the, the crux of the, the glycine NAC together. Now, they synergize to fortify cellular resilience against something called oxidative stress, and also against inflammation and against free radicals. So Glynac is a sort of a, a cellular superhero uh, that can be really beneficial for us in our, in our health optimization, and this is something that goes down when when we get older, we get more oxidative stress, we make more inflammation, we get more free radicals, our glutathione production starts to go down. And this is really what we're getting to here is all about glutathione. So within our cellular powerhouses, the mitochondria, um, Glynac embarks on a mission to amplify energy production and mitigate cellular damage. Now, as demonstrated in a recent study, will be linked down below, uh, Glynac aids in replenishing antioxidants, fortifying mitochondria, in particular glutathione, which is known as the master antioxidants, and it helps safeguard cellular machinery from the ravages of oxidative stress. Now, the study is by Prem Ranjan Kumar and others, so make sure you check out the links below on that. There are a number, a couple of, of, of human studies that I'll link to, and as well as one of the mouse studies as well. So oxidative stress and mitochondrial dysfunction are implicated as causative factors for aging. So older adults have an increased prevalence of elevated oxidative stress and oxidative damage, impaired mitochondrial fuel oxidation and elevated inflammation, endothelial dysfunction, insulin resistance, cognitive decline, muscle weakness and sarcopenia. But we don't quite know what the contributing me mechanisms of all of this are, but um, this is something that, you know, we all experience as we get older and we think it's just a part of aging and we can't do anything about it. Now, I tend to disagree with that. I think aging is a disease. I would like to see it named as such because then we can really go after it with targeted interventions. But coming back to this uh, trial, now there was a pilot trial done. Um, on oxidative uh, stress and using Glynac. Um, and the Glynac supplementation and the impact that it had on glutathione, on the inflammation, the endothelial lining, on genotoxicity, on muscle and glucose metabolism, body composition, strength, and com uh, cognition. So this was a 36-week open-label tr clinical trial, and it was um, conducted only on a small number of adults, so a very small trial, um, and as well as eight younger adults who were all just taken their baseline supplements for the younger adults just to get their baseline data. And older adults were studied again after Glynac and supplements supplementation for 24 weeks and glynac withdrawal for another 24 weeks and what they found was they were they were measuring uh red blood cells glutathione uh mitochondrial function plasma biomarkers oxidative stress inflammation endothelial function glucose and insulin 
gait speed, grip strength, uh, six minute walk tests, cognitive tests, uh, genomic damage and glucose production and muscle protein breakdown rates and composition. So really thorough investigation. And the results were that Glynex supplementation for 24 weeks in the older adult group uh, corrected the glutathione deficiencies and the oxidative damage and the mitochondrial dysfunction and improved inflammation, improved the endothelial dysfunction that they were suffering from, helped with their insulin resistance, the genomic damage, the cognitive, uh, the cogn cognition, strength and gait speed and exercise capacity and lowered body fat and waist circumference. Um, and what also happened was they studied them for this 24-week period. They saw that already after a couple of weeks, these things were improving. After the 24-week period, they did another 12 weeks without the Glynec uh, supplementation and things went back, unfortunately, to baseline. So it does look like something that we're going to have to um, you know, continue to take. But that's really, really promising. We need more studies, of course, but this is just absolutely amazing that it could do so much in such a short period of time. Um, so emphasizing the immune aspect. So uh, Glynac emerges as an immunomodulatory champion through glycine's immunoregulatory properties and NAC's facilitation of glutathione synthesis. The immune system gains support to combat threats efficiently as corroborated by the, the research that I just mentioned. Now looking at gut health and how it can amplify gut health and help, uh, beyond the confines of immunity, Glynac extends its influence to gut health, um, as once again was shown in that study. And glycine showcases its prowess by nurturing gut lining integrity and attenuating inflammation and fostering a harmonious sort of gut, gut environment. It also helps with cognitive augmentation. The cognitive realm is also not uh, overlooked, and it reveals that it's got brain boosting potential. Um, again, in that study, you can read about that. Glycine inhibit, exhibits cognitive enhancement properties, while NAC assists the brain's detoxification processes, furthering cognitive vitality. Now, let's delve a little bit into the dosages and the age considerations. When might you want to start taking Glynex as a supplement? Um, more studies, again, are needed. And determining the appropriate dosage really varies from person to person and your particular needs, what you're dealing with. So it's essential to seek some guidance from a healthcare professional on that front. Uh, factors such as age, your overall health, specific health goals, uh, athletic endeavors, all of those things sort of need to be taken into account um, to establish an optimal dosage for each individual. But glutathione really starts to go down from around the age of 40 years and on onwards. So younger, healthier or adults need not be too concerned, but from the age of 40, you might want to consider a, a Glynac supplementation in a one-to-one -one ratio too. The, glynac, the glycine with an NAC C should be a one-to-one -one ratio. Um, do not age, uh, have a great product that they put out with um, this combination in it, but there are others out on the market, or you can go and get two different products and put them together yourself, and you want to have them at the same time. Um, you can start with uh, around 600 milligrams of NAC and 600 of glycine taken at the same time, and you can go up to much higher dosages. As you age and you get older, you might want to increase that dose. Um, it has been found to be safe and non-toxic, uh, and more studies are really needed to elucidate what they're optimal. But personally, I take 1.2 grams of each of glycine in NAC, and then I split that into two dosages, one in the morning and one in the evening. I also give this to my mum. Um, who is now 81 and has a lot of complicated medical history. Uh, if you follow this channel, you know her story. Um, and I have her on this as well. So that does beg the question, why not just take glutathione if we're wanting to increase our glutathione levels? Well, um, that's, a, that's a really important point. Now, Glutathione, it's a, it's a critical, it's a master antioxidant in the body and it's produced in our bodies and by our bodies. Um, and when we take it orally as a supplement in itself, its usefulness is limited by the fact that it breaks down in the gut. Um, the digestive process can break down glutathione, rendering it less bioavailable and less effective. Uh, you can take um, liposomal glutathione or 
is acetyl uh, glutathione, and we'll get into that in a second. But in contrast, Glynac offers a unique advantage by combining the glycine and the NAC. Uh, it bolsters the body's natural glutathione synthesis process, ensuring a better absorption and bioavailability of the essential uh, antioxidants. So there is a role for liposomal glutathione, but the thing that I don't like about liposomal glutathione is that um, these formulations employ liposomes, which are small lipid-based based, uh, vesicles to improve the delivery of glutathione to the cells, which is great. It helps it get through the digestive tract intact. Uh, while liposomal glutathione may enhance absorption, it lacks the regulatory control that Glynac offers. So meaning that each cell has a different requirement for glutathione, and this is regulated um, by the body. But with liposomal glutathione, it basically that regulation step is missing and it can go straight into the cell. And that means that too much could hit the cell at once and that can be damaging. And it's all about really balance here. So maybe if you're dealing with some really chronic thing and you want to get it in really, really fast, then the liposomal form um, can be beneficial. There are other ways as well. There are transdermal methods of getting glutathione in. Um, I haven't used these myself, but I know that they're used for Hashimoto's disease, for example, to get uh, the glutathione directly into that organ when you put it onto the, the thyroid. I have no experience with that. I just know about it. So creams that have uh, glutathione as well. You can also nebulize glutathione for lung problems. I haven't got any experiences with any of those, but dive into those if you want to find out more about those sort of delivery mechanisms. But I think that Glynex um, is, is a really dynamic duo for glycine and N acetylcysteine. And, and it not only enhances the glutathione production, but it also supports the body's natural natural cellular uh, regulation processes. So it keeps the biological systems more in balance. Now, there are other precursors that you can also take to help with glutathione production in the body. And these are both food and supplements. So on the food side, you want to be looking at foods that are sulfur rich. So glutathione contains sulfur. So these are things that are like garlic, onions, shallots, leeks, cruciferous veggies like the broccoli, the cauliflower, the cabbages, and the allium veg uh, vegetables, garlic, onions, and scallions, those types of things. And then also cysteine-rich vegetables. Cysteine is an amino acid, and that is a pr primary component of the glutathione. So foods that are rich in cysteine can include things like poultry, chicken, turkey, uh, fish, things like salmon and tuna, eggs, dairy products, cheese and legumes and lentils and chickpeas. And then there are the methionine rich foods. Now, methionine is another essential amino acid involved in glutathione synthesis. And foods high in meth uh, methionine include lean meats, fish, poultry, eggs, nuts, seeds and whole grains. Then there is the vitamin C rich foods that play a crucial role in maintaining and recycling glutathione levels in the body. So foods that are rich in vitamin C, you know, they're pretty obvious things like citrus fruits, orange, lemons, grapefruits, strawberries, kiwi fruit, uh, bell peppers and broccoli. Then there's the alpha lipoic acid. Uh, this is a potent antioxidant that can help regenerate uh, glutathione levels in the body with that recycling. And foods that include these are things like spinach, and broccoli, tomatoes, and red meat. And then there are selenium rich foods that are also, uh, selenium is an essential mineral that supports the activity of glutathione peroxidase, an enzyme that relies on glutathione for its antioxidant function. So foods that are high in selenium, things like Brazil nuts, seafood, tuna, sardines, and brown rice. Then there's milk thistle, or also known as silly marin. Milk thistle is a herbal supplement that you can help support glutathione le levels and liver function, which is crucial for that glutathione synthesis and for the recycling. Then whey protein is also a rich source of cysteine, and that's a precursor also to glutathione, um, and that can help after exercise 
Caution though with whey protein, if you have auto, any autoimmune diseases, um, you may want to avoid dairy and everything associated with things like whey protein altogether because that can be problematic if you have autoimmune diseases. So on the supplement side, so directly, if you don't want to get it through your food, just think about things like selenium, the alpha lipoic acid, as I said, uh, cordyceps uh, extract or go to cola or milk thistle. Uh, L-glutamine can help and also omega-3s can be helpful. Uh, I recently had Dr. Ross Pelton on my podcast, Pushing the Limits, also known as the natural pharmacist, a uh, brilliant man who's written 13 books. I highly recommend checking that episode out when it comes. It's due out in a couple of weeks. Um, and he recommends taking a specific strain of probiotic called a lactobacillus fermentium ME3, which I'm about to get into my collection of anti-aging and longevity supplements and uh, really keen to try this out for myself. And it helps produce more glutathione endogenously in the gut. And it also helps to uh, recycle glutathione. Um, so, you know, to summarize, Glynac supplementation offers a very promising avenue to bolster cellular health, immune fortification, and cognitive vitality, but it is key that you go and talk to your doctor or your medical professional before you uh, uh, undertake any of this sort of stuff yourself, because um, it is based on your individual health profile. Um, so I think glutathione supplements have their merit and the synergistic benefits of Glynac uh, should not be overlooked looked for harnessing the power uh, that glutathione has to help us to be stronger. Now, I did want to touch before I wind this up on athletes. You know, I've been a professional athlete, ultra endurance athlete for decades, did a hell of a lot of damage to myself. And I also um, have, uh, I do DNA testing in my company and gen genetics. And I found out that I had very, very poor glutathione Thion genes. That means that as an athlete, and when I was pushing my body to their absolute limits, um, I was really uh, double whammy bad on my body because I didn't have good GST genes. There's a family of genes called the GST genes. There's the GST T1, which is the sort of big daddy in the space, the GST M1 and the GST P1. Mine are an absolute disaster. That means that I'm going to need more glutathione support as I get older so that I don't end up with more oxidative damage and all the other things that are happening uh, in the body. And so if you're an athlete, you may want to get your genes tested, know what you're doing. In fact, everybody should get their genes tested, in my opinion, and I do that in my company. So, you know, check out what we do at lisatarmody.com um, because then you know what things need to be put into the mix. For me, this is why I'm particularly interested in Glynac, uh, because I need to do everything I possibly can to get more glutathione in my body. I just don't do very well on that front from a genetic perspective. Um, so here's how it could help with athletic performance. And again, we need more studies to really elucidate all of this, um, but it reduces oxidative stress. So Glynac supports the body's antioxidant defenses by promoting glutathione production and recycling. And this may help reduce oxidative stress caused by intense exercise and potentially improve exercise recovery. So if you're an athlete, you want to get the best out of your training, you want to be able to train again the next day, this is something you need to look into. So um, also immune system support. So regular intense training can really uh, temporarily suppress your immune system and increase the risk for infections and illness. So Glynex immunomodulatory effects may help bolster, bolster the immune response, potentially reducing the risk of infections and supporting overall health during periods of intense training. Uh, from an inflammation regulation point of view, intense exercise can lead to temporary inflammation in the body, and Glynax anti-inflammatory properties may help modulate this inflammation, which could have implications for exercise recovery. It can also help with muscle repair and recovery. So glycine is one of the components of Glynac, and that's involved in collagen synthesis, which is essential for tissue repair, including muscle recovery after exercise-induced damage. So in conclusion, I think it's one to put on your list if you're an athlete, if you want optimal performance, also for those looking for longevity and health optimization in general. And it's certainly going to remain a part of my protocol, and I'll be keeping up with any new studies on Glynac. 
Uh, if you enjoyed this summary of what Glynec is, um, please like, uh, make a comment down below, ask me something if you want to know, uh, and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. That helps us get more viewers on here. We really appreciate that. We have over 600 vi uh, videos on this channel, including full-length documentaries of uh, some of the races that I did. Love you to go and check all of that out. But that's it for today. Glynec and one to put on your radar for longevity and anti-aging. So thanks, guys.